Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Thank you for dropping by my channel on this special day, the first day of the Lunar New Year or Tết. I'm at my parents' place and we are preparing some special food to welcome the guests on our house today. This is my mom. I feel really, really good with the weather and the atmosphere for the first day of Tết is very special to all the Vietnamese. And I have here a lot of food that we um, some we prepare, some we bought at the store and it's very traditional food that we um, eat for Tết and it's all pre-made so what we're gonna do now is just you know unwrap them and display them nicely on different plates and we're gonna serve to whatever guests that come and greet us today so let's start these are some really special food that we have for Tết and I will introduce you one by one and we only have this during Tết. Normally, we don't cook on this day. One of the most popular food that we're gonna eat on Tết is the bánh chưng or square cake and bánh tét, which is more uh, for the southern Vietnamese people to eat. So I have here is a specialty of Da Nang. It's a chả bò, which is Vietnamese ham, but it's made of beef instead of pork, like the normal chả lụa that you probably already know and another dish also very special and unique to Da Nang is chè if you already know the name chua which is the fermented pork sausage in other parts of Vietnam it's made of the best part of the pork freshly slaughtered and ferments uh, so it's had uh, this sour taste to it but here in central Vietnam we have um, very difficult life because we have a typhoon and drought every year so uh, this is the food that we make uh, to eat during that it's made of cheaper cuts of pork like the ears the nose the skin and the pork belly uh, mixed with uh, roasted rice powder chopped galango then wrapped in banana leaf to make this food and I'm gonna unpack it now and prepare oh lots of leaves so the chai has to be served with um, a special sauce also from central Vietnam which is the chili jam tương ớt and uh, we like to put so with some uh, mint cu uh, kiểu very special kind of root vegetable that we uh, pickle. Another thing really, really special, which is the bánh tổ. I think it's inspired from a Chinese dish called niếng cao, uh, also a dead food. But here in Vietnam, we put sesame on top and it has a slight ginger flavor, really nice. Now we're gonna slice it very thinly and then fry until it's golden and crispy. So during Tết, we all want to dress up nicely and have fun, have good time with our family and with friends. So we normally don't cook on this day. So um, my mom and I already prepare a lot of stuff that we have uh, for Tết. Like this one is the pork soaked in fish sauce or thịt ngâm nước mắm. This is uh, pickled mustard greens. This is uh, Vietnamese kimchi. This is pickle cu kiểu and uh, I have recipe for all this on my channel. I will put the links below if you want to know how to make all this. And now we're gonna take them out and cut into pieces so we can uh, offer to the guests. Opening Christmas presents. <laughs> because it's made of glutinous rice, so it's very sticky. And if you cut with a knife, it's gonna 
uh, stick to the knife and also you can't get the round shape of the bánh tét. So what I do is I use a thread or you can also use like, you know, dental floss. And so you have really nice round equal shapes of uh, bánh tét like this, ready to serve. Mẹ con tát xong rồi nhìn đẹp mẹ. Nhờ tát bằng chỉ cho nên nó không có bị xù lên. À, ok. Nhưng mà bánh này người mua ở ngoài chợ người ta làm nó không có đẹp, nó không có tròn. Ừ. Ngày xưa bà ngoại á, là gói rất là tròn, đẹp lắm. Mà mẹ là hay hay gói bánh tát là hay bị một đầu to đầu nhỏ cho nên là bị bà ngoại khóc đầu. <cười> And this is yumong, uh, pickle vegetables in fish sauce. There's uh, also gu kiu and carrot and green papaya, thinly sliced and dried, and then soak in this uh, brine mixture. So it's pretty sweet and salty, and it's gonna go really great with the bánh tét or bánh chân, the sticky rice cake. <laughs> cho con nghe chưa? À, chúc năm mới mở sức khỏe nghe chưa? Bàn tay là ạ, ngồi. Bàn tay là ạ. À đi con. À đi. À. À đi. 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 Cầm đi, cầm đi, cầm đi. Cố lên 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 đi. Cảm đi con. Cố lên đi. Cảm ơn con ạ. Uh, I was actually here for that last year. Uh -huh. The problem is I was in Saigon, oh. and it was just a ghost town. Right. No people. Everybody go back every, to their hometown. Yeah. Yes. Everything was closed. No people. No <laughs> street food. It was really sad. Yeah. <laughs> so like this happy time of the year for all the Vietnamese people, I just saw like the cold, lonely part. Oh. So <laughs> this year, I get to see what everybody was really doing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So here we have uh, four generations under one house. Oh, Normally I don't stay here, but for that I will come back mm. to visit my parents and my grandpa. And uh, we have a lot of uh, sweets here for you to try. Oh great. Yeah, this is uh, ginger candy, mm -hmm. tamarind candy and coconut candy. Great, I had something like this in the Mekong Delta. Yeah, yeah. and also that um, melon seed oh. know, to create some um, cell, crackly cell, so uh, it makes more fun and chilly atmosphere for this. But <laughs> Do you know when I tried these, I ate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you're supposed to, right? No, of yeah, course not. not. Okay, you it's hold, late, you hold the, 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 the bigger part, okay? Mm. And then no, bigger part. Uh, cut here. Uh, no, no. To create the cracking cell. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, okay, okay, and then you can open. To eat the seed inside. Mmm. A little bit uh, meticulous. Wow. <laughs> so I think after a few hours, I might get full. <laughs> that's good though. It's fun. It's a little. It keeps your mouth busy. Yes. Yeah. That's good for me because I talk too much. <laughs> Love your grandpa's outfit. Yeah, it's our traditional outside with oh. the, the hat. Right, because everyone knows the Aoyai for like oh, uh, right. women, but yeah, but in uh, the old days, men also wear outside, and mm -hmm. my pa my grandpa is like the really traditional man, and he only put that on for tea, especially oh. only today. So, what do you learn about tea in Vietnam so far? Well, so far I I had a kind of a tea feast in Hanoi, mm -hmm. and I learned that there were. Uh, so many different foods. <laughs> and a lot of the foods had some like special meaning. Yes. But then some were just tasty. Yes. Um, we also have a lot of food here and uh, you you like to eat yeah. Awesome. Yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
Okay, Sonny, so this is what we normally have in the Tết Fest mm. is in Vietnam. Mm. And this is how we serve it. Yes, you're gonna break a piece of the rice cracker. You're gonna mm -hmm. take a piece of this. Scoop it up. Like Scoop some up. like some salsa at a yeah, yeah, Super yeah. Bowl party. Exactly. Okay. okay. Bam, look at that. Oh, that is a nice bite right there. We're gonna go for it? Yeah, sure, please. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. No. How is it? It tastes amazing. Mm. Um, what I really like is for using like these cheap cuts of meat, they really uh, brought the flavor out. Yeah. And I think maybe by slicing it so thin yeah. and uh, the way they uh, season it, it's just really delicious with everything together. Mm. Fresh herbs, it's salty from that jam, mm. and then just fatty and, and chewy meat. Lots of texture, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lots of textures and the crunchy peanuts too. Yes. Yeah, it's so good. I want to eat more. Can I eat more? <laughs> yes, please. Oh, oh. Oh, it's not good. Not good. No, no. Mm. no. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. So this is chả bò. So you see the color is a little bit darker than yeah. the chả lụa that you know because chả lụa is made from pork. Mm. Yes, please give her a try. Yeah. Mm. Please, together. <laughs> Let's share. Mm. I like it a lot. Yeah. So it's meaty, it's beefy, it's got like these huge peppercorns in there. Yes, yes. And this is the most traditional food in Central and South Vietnam. Ban Tha. Ban, ban tha. Yes. I've heard so much about this one. Yeah, have you and tried? I've never tried it. Oh really? I'm very excited. So looking at it, I know that it's wrapped in some leaf, like banana leaf maybe. Yes, yes. There's rice on the outside. And it looks like maybe pork yes, on pork, the inside? Pork, like pork and some mung bean, yes. Oh, <laughs> that looks nice. Yeah, have yourself. It's like, a, it's like a savory Swiss roll. Uh, <laughs> so I a savory Swiss roll. It's sticky. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you take the piece to paste on top. Okay. Yeah, mm. something like that. Oh. Mm. Alright, here we go. My first bite ever of my tech. Okay. Oh. That's a big bite. <laughs> mm, yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> you gotta take a bite. <laughs> Mm. Wow, that's a hearty food. That is like a ball of calories right there. <laughs> it's just a huge, thick it mound of rice yes. and mung bean, uh -huh. but not not super strong flavor. Or anything. Just a little no, savory. Yeah, because that's why we eat with the yu mung, yu mung, mm. yu mung, so it's balanced out. I like that. You Vietnamese like food is all about balance. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. It's very hearty though. Very. Well, filling. Yes, very mm. filling, yes. Try it a little bit. Vietnamese kimchi. Vietnamese kimchi, yes. Kimchi, Vietnamese. It's yummy, I like it. So obviously this is like the biggest meal celebration holiday of the year in Vietnam. In the US we have like maybe Christmas or Thanksgiving where we have a huge feast. And the turkey is the centerpiece. But what is like, is there like a turkey here? Is there like a main thing here? Or is it just a little bit of everything? It's just a little bit of everything. Just trying everything. Yes. So there's no like main food. There's no main food, but then the traditional food is the bánh tét or bánh chân. It's to make you, you, you full. Oh, and then we have a different kind of protein like pork or beef. You know, sausage, everything. So it's, it's a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Make, yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah, That's perfect. Cool. So the next dish is the thịt ngâm nước mắm, which is uh, pork in fish sauce oh, yeah. that we made like a week ago. Ah. So the fish sauce absorbs into the boiled pork, make it really mm. flavorful. I love the rice paper in Central Vietnam because it's like more uh, chewy. Yes. Yeah. Because we put um, so tapioca inside also, not ah. just rice. Yes. So we're gonna put in some of this pork in here. Ah, uh, the veggies. Some veg veggies first. Yes, veggies first. Okay, do I have to put veggies? <laughs> All right. So we'll put some veggies in there. Right. 
Ooh. Oh my gosh, there's so many. How long have you been in Vietnam? Uh, about a little bit over one year. Oh, okay. So you know how to roll? <laughs> totally. I'm good. I'm good. You good? Okay. So I got veggies. I'm going to put one of these. Yes. And that's it? Yeah, one more, one more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You knew I really oh, actually wanted oh. more. Anyway. <laughs> okay. And you can choose uh, with the veggie. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do it. All right. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I'll this put one. a little bit of kimchi. Kimchi. Okay. We're going to make it to you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, you're going doing a good job. Okay. 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 Yeah. Sauce right here. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> Mmm. Oh. How you feeling? Chili. I feel great. So good. Yeah. Very fresh, right? Fresh, good textures. <laughs> so this is bánh tỏ, very unique to Quảng Nam province, uh, Central Vietnamese mm. style. And this is how it originally looked like. What is it made out of? It's made of um, glutinous rice flour. Mm -hmm. So it's very sticky and uh, sugar of course and ginger this is like five kilograms right here <clears throat> that is dense super dense, dense right dense. like thick so they make the butter and then steam it and let it set for like a couple of days to um, settle the flavor mm -hmm. and put sesame on top and it can keep you know for a month or longer mm. so you have something to eat during take so to make sure that you know, even if you finish oh. all the rest <laughs> of the food, <laughs> this is the last thing to stay. You know? Here we go, a bite of the bang dog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. That is amazing. <laughs> the texture already is to die for. It's like a super chewy, like a fried bread, but thicker. Crispy on the outside and sticky on the inside. It's such a beautiful texture. Mm, I love it. This is like one of my favorite things I've tried so far. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. Honestly, this is amazing. Very good. <laughs> now, now my. No way, no way. Very good. Very good. Very <laughs> and also, for you, I got you a little. A little <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got one more for you, little buddy. Oh. Thank you. 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 Thank you so much, Sonny, for no. visiting us today. Thank you so much. This was an awesome experience for me. It's great to have Sonny as the first guest on the New Year Day. And uh, if you want to check out more tech video, like other dishes in the north, in the south, check out Sonny video. He has a very special video for tech, mm -hmm. introducing all the specialty from Vietnam in from different regions, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in and Hanoi, Saigon, and then of course here with you too. And on this occasion, we would like to wish you a really happy new year with a lot of good health and prosperity and lots of money too. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next year. Bye bye. Peace. Peace.